Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Zach, and welcome to my little let's play of Game Dev Tycoon. Um, don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your audio. There's no game music here. Um, just perfect for me to talk for a few seconds. Um, I just wanted to say a few quick things. Um, yeah, it's my new let's play series. It's just me. Um, I do actually own this game. Um, I had it originally downloaded, um, pirated, as most people did. Um, it's a sad thing, but most people did. But I decided to buy it um, because I really liked it and I wanted to support the developers that unfortunately, apparently, have gone under. I'm not sure. I hope not because it's a really good game and I think that they're capable of a lot. Um, and yeah, this is just a let's play so I can show you how awesome this game is if you don't already know. If you're on the internet, you probably do. But anyway, let's get into it. So, I actually had opened the window before, so there's a couple tutorial things that normally pop up. Um, but, unfortunately, I accidentally got rid of that, because <laughs> I had to switch from full screen down, and the only way to do that is to start the game. So, we're skipping right to the company name. So, Gag TV, why not? Name of our YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, and by R, I mean me and my friend Reed. Um, so let's just go with my name, Zach. Zachary's my full name. And that's basically my hair, but what am I? I'm wearing red. You know what? Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, settings. 35 years. Yeah, 35 years. Let's go. Me too. Support a young startup by the game. It's really... <laughs> it was sad in the download version. It still says that even when you don't. So, you know. This, I actually have bought this game, so it's it's an achievement I have earned. Before development can begin, you have to decide what type of game. So, we're about to create our first game. Um, well, let's think of the title after we think of the type. Okay, these are the most random-ass things I've ever... I've never gotten a topic this random before. Ever. Oh my gosh. I don't... It's always like, I always get sports, like... Uh, medieval something else yeah it's a it's a racing and medieval something like that i've never gotten movies aliens zombies and spy before so i really don't know how to do it judging by real video games movies seems like a bad idea um i've i've, I've never really tackled these types before i'm not an expert at this game um so you know what fucking alien action maybe i don't know it's a bit different. This this version is updated, I'm assuming, because this is definitely a bit different than the hacked version I originally had. Um, so I don't know. Sure, why not? I think I just misspelled this shit out of that, didn't I? Asses. Whatever. Fine. We're going 2D graphics V1. Gonna be a high roller spender right there. So, for those of you who don't know, this tutorial basically explains it, but, and it explains it really well. The game is very good at telling you how to play it, um, so even people like me, which aren't the greatest at games like this, can understand it. But basically, when you develop games, you choose in three different stages, um, there's three different screens similar to this, which types um, you think would fit the games better. And in an, alien, and in an action oriented game, um, generally speaking, why is my mouse highlighted? I don't know. <laughs> Generally speaking, um, engine is really not very important, so you can put that down. Gameplay is pretty much full, and stories and quests is lower. So let's just put engine up a bit, stories and quests a bit lower. So this is, as it says, time allocation. So most most effort will be put into gameplay. Little to minimal effort will be put into stories and quests, and a decent amount will be put into engine. Because you don't want your engine to be too low, no matter what game it is, pretty much. So, as it just said, um, bubbles will come up showing design, technology, and research points which can be used later. It will also give bugs up here, which you need to make sure are all gone before you release it. So for dialogues, level design, and artificial intelligence. Um, for action games, dialogues, minimal. Um, artificial intelligence, mm, I'd probably put that a bit higher, maybe. We'll go with that. It's a first game, so really, 
the most I think you can ever hope for in a first game is straight eights, but that's nearly impossible. <laughs> I don't think you can even ever get higher than that, really. So, yeah, so these are, so what it's saying is that there's extra things that you can get depending. Um, I mean, I could unclick that if I wanted to, but that would be kind of stupid, so we're going to leave basic sound on. Which is good. It's always good to have stuff like this, especially for sound, because generally speaking, in most games you want to, you don't put your sound as high as you put your world design or graphics. Um, but in this case, world design doesn't need to be that high, neither does graphics. They can all just be at the top, because really, it's an action game, it doesn't really matter, but we could put sound just a little bit down, maybe graphics just a tad bit down. Alright, that looks good. Um, so we went from 70k to 27k <laughs> by making this one game. Exactly, so basically just wait for the bugs to go out. Um, that only really becomes a problem. Sometimes you will have to release sometimes you will have to release games in bug states if you're going bankrupt and you need a game. But it's almost better to just wait at that point. Can you actually edit it now? Oh wow, you can. That's a much better improvement than the other ones. <laughs> new topic, new combo. Oh, that wasn't a great combo. Oh joy. It just said that... <laughs> okay, this is gonna be really shit. I just can't wait. First game. How bad is this... How bad is this premonition gonna be? Oh... Huh? Nothing less than six, please. Nothing less than six. Okay. Not great, 6.5, but I was sort of expecting worse, to be honest. Favorable reviews. Favorable. Favorable reviews. Oh, yes, all those units. Okay, well, we've made almost all our money back. But, do we have. How much research points do we have? You need 20. Oh, you know, you only need 10, never mind. Um, let's go military. I was going to go fantasy, because fantasy RPGs can do really well. But in this game, it's sort of a hit or miss with that type genre. Fantasy RPGs are really the only types that you would ever really put fantasy with, but it doesn't always work. So, you know, military, military strategy. So, maybe military madness. I don't fucking know. Sure, we'll do that. Um, strategy. We on this? Yeah, we're on this. Let's go ahead and do that. You could technically just go for the PC instead of the G64, considering it gets almost the amount of market share for about 15k less. But we're at the very beginning of the game, and at this point, you really, unless you're really terrible at the game, you don't go bankrupt. <laughs> so we don't really need to worry about that. Um, again, it's actually pretty similar to this, except our engine should probably be a bit up and so should our stories and lives. So basically, gameplay should still be the top, but those other ones can go up a bit. Maybe stories and quests could have been a bit less, but hey, it's whatever. Don't scratch your head, dude. We gotta finish this. Alright, um, again, artificial intelligence first, full, I mean, level design up, maybe dialogue's a tiny bit. Like that. Um, but yeah, it's generally actually really similar to action in most things, most cases, um, because they both don't require much story or um, dialogues, which is the key components here. Um, hmm. Maybe let's put world design just a tad. No, let's leave it up. Let's just lower this a tad bit. <clears throat> For a game that has asses in the title, it, it didn't do as bad as <laughs> as I was thinking it was going to. And bug, there we go. Bada bing bada boom. It does not say great combo. I don't know if that's if that's just something in the real game that's different than the usual hacked one, but you know. Whatever. Either way, I do like some of the changes that are in the real game. I'm glad I purchased it. But you know. Come on, come on. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that's that's very, very, very different than the top. 666. Great. That's a good sign. Right fucking there. Um, 
Let's go ahead and uh, research some shit. Sports. No, not law. Yeah. Sports. And. And, 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 and. There we go. Sports is now done. Um, so next time, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a sports, a uh, sports simulation probably, um, which always does well, pretty much no matter what happens. So uh, that's a, that's gonna be good for the company. Um, and yeah, we'll leave it with the the industry news that Ninvento has created Dinky King. <laughs> so uh, yeah, catch you guys next time. See ya.